What's up? Um, I'm in the car. If you listen, you can hear the sound of rain. So I'm not gonna be walking in the rain. Actually, I just came back from the gym and I decided to treat myself to McDonald's. I don't think, I've been home almost three months, give or take. And I haven't had McDonald's. Well, I had breakfast, I lied. But I haven't had a burger. Cause there's so much more variety. In Japan, that's all I was be eating. I apologize, I'm gonna eat in front of you. I'm sorry. Don't hate me. But, um, let me work backwards. So, um, I just left a uh, Zumba class, right? So last week, last Friday, I told him I won't be in class next week because I have to get my wisdom teeth pulled out. And then I didn't go on Monday, as you guys know. But I didn't want to go to class because I've been rushing. I like to work out and then go to Zumba. I don't just go there for Zumba. And um, so I go in there and the ladies were like, hey, how was it? We we're talking about you. We we're worried about you. And I'm like, I didn't go. And they're like, what happened? I was like, I didn't have a ride. Like, you could have asked me. So that's the one lady. Then the, 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 the instructor comes in. She's like, so how did it go? I was like, I didn't go. I didn't have a ride. Like, you got my number? Because she gave us all business cards when we joined her first day like you got my card and then the other lady who came over she's like you could have asked me that's three people I don't even know other than I come to Zumba class twice a week and they are all I'm not used to that kindness Cause at the same time, the reason I didn't have a ride is because family didn't take me. Because we're fighting. It's weird like that. People who don't know you treat you better than people who do know. People who don't know you treat you better. Yeah. That's how it is though, right? But yeah. So I was like 10 minutes ago. Zumba. And um, oh yeah. My um, I don't know if this is going to be 41 minutes because I, I don't know. I'm not. I gotta go to the bathroom. Actually, I should have went before I left the gym. So I don't think this is gonna be so long. Plus, I ain't doing. I'm sitting in the car. But anyway, let me get. Um. Yesterday, I got a phone call. You know how, at least in Pennsylvania, it comes up. Um, maybe spam. So now I'm used to these maybe spams, and I just be like, chicken dinner, chicken dinner, chicken, and I just hang up, or I just block them, or you know. But for I, whatever, I pick up and they're like, hello? I'm like, hello? Like, I'm not in my friendly voice mode. Like, hello? And then um, she's like, yeah, this is the doctor's office. Like, oh, okay. And they're like, yeah, we got the results. And you're okay. There's nothing wrong with your kidney. I was just like, I was holding my breath. Like, <sighs> that is one more shit, one more thing that's going to be on my plate. But so that's good. That's good. Good old kidneys doing whatever the kidneys are doing. So that was that. Um, last night I went to an open mic. I don't. Open mics are cool to get your like practice on, and and you do need to practice in front of a live audience. You got to get your music. That, that's always been one of my things. You know, get my music out there. Otherwise, you just look weird when you do have a show, show. So I go out there and I don't know, it looked like they're all like 20 something, feeling like an old man. Like indie rock, like uh, what's her face? Um, um, I don't know, like Back in my day, singers sang. They weren't singing. They were doing... You know that new style that people... I, I don't know names. And I'm not hating on the style. Whatever. But they were singing like that. It wasn't bad. It wasn't... There was a couple singers I wanted to get up and say, Yo, that was really nice. But I was just doing a recon mission to see what the venue was like. 
show see who shows up. I don't think I could get up there and just do some rap rap because it says in the the thing only acoustic. So I'm not sure what happens when I start bringing all my equipment. So, but they had a, a keyboard on there, and I, I quickly looked up the keyboard, and it actually has drums in there. So technically, if I get behind that and start banging out a beat on their keyboard, they can't. But I think they'll be okay because, well, who knows? So that's I'm gonna do that next week, next Thursday. And then last Wednesday, I went to another one, like 10 minutes walking down the street. Why did that car come so close to me? Walking down the street. Actually, it was the first place, not the first, it was the last place I performed at before I went to Japan. So I, there's footage somewhere where it's like, I'm going to Japan, I don't know what's gonna happen. And, none of the... and 15 years later, I came back, but I don't think there's gonna be anyone who remembered me. So I'm trying to get myself out there. I mean, this is a stepping stone. I, I gotta get back in. I mean, I'm gonna resume my um my concept. So combining, you know, rapping and freestyling, beat making, but then like using the magic of Bluetooth controllers and you know, kind of put on a show. Cause I think that would work. I don't know, that's what I'm trying to do. Something like, I'll be like, I'm jumping up and down and I hear a clown. And then silence. And then in the track, I record a clown doing clown stuff and it just kind of, but I have it seeming like it's coming from behind people, assuming that your speaker's on some surround sound stuff. Or if I'm in the bar, in the bar, um, like already sampling the sounds of bottles and bells ringing. I think that's a bar thing. And then putting in a track and then throwing people off. Just, you know, having fun with it. Uh, my friend, my brother's friend, who uh, adopted me as a brother, <laughs> um, he um, he bought me a, a projector because when my, at the, my mom's funeral, at the wake, whatever, I was going to borrow one from Walmart and return it he's like you know, I'll buy it for you I'm like you really don't have to because I'm just going to return it he's like no don't worry I get points on my credit card hey who am I to so he bought the projector and I, I did this nice little slideshow and now I just got this projector sitting there collecting dust so I might do something where I'm projecting something and it's going to be a crazy set so that's uh that part um, is there anything else? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, my dad did. So I, I maybe I mentioned it, maybe I didn't. But my dad and I, we 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 don't talk. I mean, I how I'm talking to this little iPhone and going out into the world. I don't talk like that to most people because I find when I do talk, they're always like interjecting. Like they always say it can't be done or why would you, like, that's another story. Anyway, so my food's gonna be all cold, man. Sheesh. Yeah, you just, I shouldn't be drinking cause I gotta go to the bathroom. All right, so um, so I don't talk to my dad like this, right? And uh, usually it's just kind of answering question. What time is it? And I'll be like, it's three thirty. He's like, okay. Did the mail come? I go, no, the mail's not here yet. Every now and then he might ask a question like, what do you think of COVID? And I'll rattle off something and he'll say what he's going to say. Um, that's about it. Being home now, I try. I'm trying different ways. So I, when I went on my date, like, Dad, I got a date. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah. And I'm telling her about 
the date and what have you. And cause I don't think I ever told because I, I didn't date before. I just kind of, hey, you, we are going to be together, more or less. And then we were together until we weren't together. This dating thing is weird to me. Going on dates and stuff. But anyway, I was like, yeah, I'm going to go on a date. And he's just like, whatever. And the next day I came home, like, how was the date? And I was just like, you know, it was what it was. And he's like, yeah, you know, I just want you to find happiness, which my dad never said that to me. A lot of people saying, I want you to find happiness with a date, which happened. I'm ha I'm happy doing Zumba. I'm happy making videos for people who want to see them. I'm happy right now I'm in the parking lot of where I used to work. It was my first job. I'm happy to be sitting here to reminisce about what was. So when people are focused on, you know, I want you to be happy and find yourself a, a person. Like, half the time... In my experience, the people I see who are in relationships, there's a lot of bickering going on, a lot of shady shit. Even now, my, my dad is like going on about things that mom and him were arguing about. That doesn't seem happy to me. But anyway, so, so I'm trying to figure out how I could communicate with my dad. So what I've been doing is like um, when he eat, well, depending on the day or whatever, but I try to eat dinner, six o'clock, watch the news with him, watch Judge Judy. I don't like Judge Judy. When I first got home and I saw Judge Judy, I'm like, oh man, this is, I just hate. But I sit down there and watch it with him and he talks about, I mean, it's always the same type of people on the show and doing, you know, watch some game shows, try to guess some of the answers. Um, some commercials that come on are really funny or whatever. So I, I, I kind of pick up on the ones my dad likes and I try to throw them into a conversation. But I... I'm a lyricist, so I would like literally make a whole song around a, a thing, but I just gotta, like there's, I don't know the thing, but there's a commercial where these little kids, they, they're they like, they got something that, so their skin will be clean or smooth again or whatever, clear up, and then they're like, not me! My dad always makes fun of them, so I pulled up my um, jacket and I'm like, not me! My dad was laughing and it made me feel good because whatever. So the other day, my dad made soup, right? And he's like, go get some soup. It smelled good. If it doesn't smell good, then I don't know. But it smelled good. And I, cause I could smell. We're Jamaican. So sometimes the food is very uh, Jamaican smelling. Kalaloo. I don't like that smell. It fills up the whole house, man. But this soup smelled good and he's like go get some and then he said i left you the biggest piece of bone meat or whatever because you maga you maga and i'm all like pinching at my skin I, i'm not maga so i go in there and this it was a huge piece of bone with meat but unfortunately i i was raised in a zoo meaning like if I like if we were lions, like he's Papa Lion and I'm Sun Lion, and he goes and kills an antelope and it got all this blood on it and it's all like, "Hey, this is for you, son." I'm like, "No, nah, I'm gonna wait for the zookeepers to come with my uh, my breaded chicken breast." So I go there and I, I I and he made some dumplings. I don't know how to make dumplings, although dumplings are just flour and water, basically. I haven't made one yet. So he made some of those and uh, he's using mom's frozen food that's in the fridge. Like that's his thing. He's just going through the refrigerator or freezer and recooking all the food that was left by mom. So it, it does taste good, but it was so spicy, man. So we were sitting there all like, <coughs> so I'm like, 
So, you know, that was really nice of my dad. Because he's, you know, think, think he's worried about me. Um, another thing my dad did, um, when we go to shopping, he'd be like, you know, go get something you want to, go get something, go pick up something. Which is, I mean, there's never, the store we, the store that I, because he asked me, can you take me to the store? And the store we go to, there's not really anything I would buy from that store. But I find some things I can buy, like. Another thing, maybe the biggest, or they're all pretty big, but my bat, my dad's been buying lottery tickets. And he said, you know, if I win, it's not for me, it's for you. I'm going to sign it over to you. Which is, this is like the closest thing to a trust fund, you know, someone. So one of these days, you're going to be, one of these days, you're going to see the video and be like, yeah, I'm a millionaire. What happened? My dad played the lottery. He won and he just gave it to me. Good times. But yeah, so my dad loves me. And it just, and it's great that I'm home for that, you know, just spending time with my dad and just seeing, seeing him do his thing. So for my um uh, so these open mics the one that's like 10 minutes down the street after i get comfortable going to that spot and making sure it's safe i don't want no craziness i'm gonna invite him to come down to watch i don't know if i'll tell well i guess i guess i'll tell him i'm gonna perform i don't need to like surprise him because my dad has never seen me perform he's n he might have seen a video but it's different seeing it in live so that's gonna be cool, cause 41 years. He ain't seen me play the piano. He ain't seen me play the trumpet. He ain't come to any of the chorus contest competitions or concerts. He didn't come to my rap shows. Nothing. So, and it's because my dad works. So it's you know it's just like that. I mean he could have, would have, should, but so it's gonna be cool. And maybe I'll drop, sample my dad in there and. Put them in the track so it'll be like we're performing together. So that might be cool. Yo, we're at 17 minutes, man. But I, I, I really do gotta go to the bathroom, and there's no place. I'm mean, gonna go back to McDonald's. Yeah. And it's raining. I can't even like go jump outside. I might go back to McDonald's. I'm not sure if they're open on the inside. Not sure, man. Not sure. Yeah. All right, is there anything else? Anything else? Um, um, nah, that's about it. That's everything that happened in the, the last time that we spoke. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right, we're at 18 minutes. Yeah. Because I really want to... I don't want to... I don't want to be eating because I eat really slow. If you ever meet me and we're sitting somewhere eating like i eat a fry at a time take a sip eat a piece of burger and try to talk it but um yeah yeah um let's see what else uh we went to my mom's grave yesterday um I don't know. Well, I mean, who knows these things until you know these things? So my assumption, when someone is buried, they get the little um, gravestone on the, like it's a day thing. Like they're, because there's a big hole when you go to the, 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 the grave. So they drop the body in the hole, they put the dirt back on, and then they put the, the gravestone, here lies so-and-so. But apparently that takes three months. So my mom was buried in January and they buried her, but she didn't get her gravestone until like uh, last week, which is weird because on her, you know, I, I just assumed that that and what was worse, we didn't even know where she was buried. I mean, I didn't know because I left and went back to Japan to do what I had to do. My family, they went back to the same spot to see the dirt 
they kept saying, but they didn't know where she was buried. I thought that was a little strange. Take a freaking picture, geolock that. You could do all that. But they didn't put a marker there, like a here, like a little flag or whatever. Very strange. So finally, the thing comes and we go and they put your mom's, well, usually, I, I guess, your mother's name and your father's name are on the same thing. They just put the date when they died. So they misspelled my father's name. So I'm like, so how long is it going to take to reflect? Oh, it'll probably take another two months. Like Mother's Day is like tomorrow. Or it's coming up. I'm like, okay, leave it there. And, you know, whatever. But that's just some foul shit. Because what are you supposed to do? To dig the body up and go to another funeral grave spot? Because this is kind of like the family. Like her, my mom's brother's over there. And my dad's brother's way over there. And... I don't know if I'll be buried in that spot because my idea is I'm going to get turned into ash and have somebody climb up Mount Fuji and <sighs> logistics wise, I, I could put that in my will, but I guess it would have to be, I'd have to put aside money for someone to go to Japan and lodge them because they can't just go and come and they have to be physically fit to climb Mount Fuji. So I was thinking maybe I'll just make it go to Okinawa and throw it into the ash, throw it into the sea or whatever. But yeah, so that's something I, I didn't know. I didn't know. But yeah, um, I got to end this because I got to go to the bathroom. I'm probably going to go back to McDonald's or what. I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. I might have to just run out in the rain or something. I don't know, man. Should have planned this out better. But hopefully, hopefully, hopefully everything works out for me. But, um... Be safe and um, yeah, peace.